Hi, I'm David Soper, and today I'll be going through an overview of Cisco Intersight organizations and role-based access control. I'll start with a visual look at Intersight resource groups and organizations. I've shown on the left-hand side a resource group, in this case the SJC resource group, is a collection of claim targets or resources in Intersight. And in this example, we've got some standalone servers potentially, some fabric interconnects and the servers attached to those. We've also got an RTP resource group with a different set of servers next to that. And on the far right, we've got a London resource group with another set. Resource groups can contain any number of devices, and devices can be in multiple resource groups. In this example, I'm going to stick with resources in individual resource groups. And then from there, we've got organizations that can contain one or more resource groups. So my Americas organization on the left has the SJC and RTP resource groups. And then I've got an EMEA organization on the right with a London resource group. An organization is where you're going to do all the configuration and lifecycle management of those resources, including logical configuration with profiles, policies, pools. Those are all going to reside within organizations. We'll look now in Intersight at how to configure resource groups and organizations. So from the system settings pages, the section on access and permissions has the different options. And we'll start at the bottom of this on resource groups. So following what we had in the visual, we'll go in and create a resource group. I'll name that SJC, which is the set of San Jose targets I'm going to put in this resource group. And then I'll select a couple of, in this case, UCS domains for that resource group. I'll continue on with the other ones from the slide. So an RTP resource group with a different UCS domain. And finally, a London resource group with the fourth of my domains added to that. With resource groups in place, I'll go up and create an organization. This is the Americas organization where I've got the SJC and RTP resource groups. And then another organization, EMEA, which has that London resource group. With resource groups and organizations set up, I'll take a look at configuring roles in Intersight. So moving up that access and permissions, I can go in and look at roles. There are a set of system-defined roles in Intersight that will apply across the account. And then you can also go in and create a role. For this, I'm going to give it a name, Americas-admins. I'm going to be giving some admin privileges to the users for this role. And then a description. And I'll pick the organization, again, Americas in this case, and I'll provide those privileges, several of the HX server and related administrator privileges for that role. And also go and create a role for EMEA, and again, admin privileges. So I'll go into their organization, select EMEA. These privileges will match what I had in Americas. Another thing you can do with roles is you can select multiple organizations that these apply to. So I'm also going to go pick my Americas organization, and here I'm going to give a different set of privileges. So these users will end up with admin privileges in EMEA, but read only in Americas. And to finish out the config, I'll go in and set up users or groups. So there's group-based config that's possible. In this example, I'll go through user config, keep it simple. Uh, the setup is really the same if you're doing group-based authentication as well. So I'll pick one of my users, me in this case, and I've already got admin privileges. Those again apply across the account. What I'll do now though is go select a different role and give this user those that role as well. So I'll assign America's admins. So now I'm an account administrator across the entire account and I'm an America's admin where that role has been set up to use the America's organization. I'll finish out with looking at operations within an organization. So I'll go to my profile menu and I'll switch account or role. And I'll go and I'll select that America's admins roles in this account. And from the profile menu, I can see that I now have that role. And you can see on the settings menu that I don't have all those options to go and configure because I'm not an account administrator. So I'll switch over to infrastructure services. 
And I see on the servers table view here that all of these servers are in the Americas organization. And if I go and configure now, I'll go through and set up a policy. And when I create this policy, I'll select boot order as an example. I will pick an organization and from this role, my only option is to select Americas. I'll just give it a demo name. But basically, I'm limited to that organization for both the resources and any configuration that I do. Thank you, and for more information, be sure to visit intersite.com help.